My name is Dagmar Schiek. I'm Professor of European Union Law at Queen's University Belfast. And I'm also heading the John Money Center of Excellence, Tensions at the Fringes of the European Union, Regaining the Union's Purpose. That's our long name, TRAPE. And we have today hosted our last conference for the preceding three years. And that conference is called Human Rights in a Changing Europe, Colliding Spheres of Justice. Our idea behind this conference was to look into the European human rights system, which is consisting of the European Convention of Human Rights, part of the Council of Europe with their seat in Strasbourg, and the human rights protection within the European Union. And when we planned this conference, it was shortly after the European Court of Justice had rejected the fully negotiated agreement to make the European Union part of the European Convention of Human Rights. So we saw the both co the courts on a collision course. Today, a few years later, we can see that the courts partly cooperate, the European Court of Human Rights and the European Court of Justice. And we can also see that the human rights systems have different degrees of stringency, of legally bindingness. And so our aim today was to highlight the areas in which the two courts, the European Court of Justice and the European Court of Human Rights, collide with each other, contradict each other, or cooperate with each other. And for the future, we will also think it's worthwhile considering how the different legal quality of the systems impacts on human rights protection in Europe. The European Union has a much stringent, more stringent system of legal direct effect and supremacy of its law over national law than the European Convention of Human Rights, which is international law and does not have direct effect as a rule in all of its member states. Now the results of today are quite interesting because we got very good illustrations how not only the two European courts cooperate, collide and conflict with each other, but also how national courts contribute to that conflict and partly play out the two courts against each other. And we also discussed quite a few current cases, the Hatzkaf cases decided in March 2017 by the European Court of Justice, a case on um, race discrimination in Denmark where Danish banks required a Danish citizen who was born outside of Denmark to bring more securities than Danish citizens, and some ca cases on criminal justice where the European courts contradicted each other. So I think it was a worthwhile conference. We were also very international from Spain, France, Finland, and we ended with a lot of open questions. So what will be the future of human rights in Europe with the disintegration of Europe through Brexit, through the UK leaving the European Union, but also through discord between the remaining member states of the European Union? How will this all play out and how will the increasing role of the Council of Europe in European rights protection will be validated? So there's future research in this and we are looking forward to people continuing our work.